Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. You might be familiar with the bullet journal method, a method developed by Ryder Carroll and explained in his book the bullet journal method. Today we are diving into apps that can work well for bullet journaling because a lot of us might want to try out bullet journaling but we're not a big fan of writing by hand or using notebooks and that is totally okay because the bullet journal method even though it is in my opinion better with pen and paper it can be done through a digital or actually multiple digital apps as well and the first app we are going to take a look at is called note plan 3 and this is only available on the mac app store and the ios app store it is not available for uh, android phones or for windows devices but they are making a web version which hopefully will be uh, fully out quite soon uh, and this is a beautiful looking application it allows you to store your notes your tasks your events all in one place and they do have calendar blocking as well so you could drag your tasks into your calendar to do calendar blocking they have a weak view and as i said they have the folders but they also do have backlinking so if you would rather want to store your notes as a ZL custom system, that is possible as well using the backlinks. They have tags and they have mentions as well, which is basically people, as you can see here. Uh, it is a beautiful looking application, quite fast on the Mac. I have tried it on the Mac and it is fast mostly because it stores your files locally and apps that store your files locally are a lot faster than apps that do not. Um, it is it works with the para system and it works great for bullet journaling using the daily pages so you could rapid log everything onto your daily pages and you can even drag your tasks in to your calendar and rapid locking is just a way for us in bullet journaling to write things down things we have to do things that we are thinking about and just in general things we want to remember you can use them the folders to store things like book notes notes on articles podcasts and things you consume so this could be your all-in-one for a productivity app or just for a bullet journal if you prefer to have it in uh, a digital app and this app is called note plan and we will quickly take a look at the pricing here and the pricing is $99.99 per year and $9.99 per month if you want it monthly. It is quite expensive for just bullet journaling but this does a lot more since it is an all-in-one productivity app for your tasks, your notes and even your calendar blocking. It gives you a lot for the $99.99 per year and it is quite similar to what a lot of the other uh, all-in-one productivity apps have as their subscription model. So the pricing is quite similar to what a lot of the other apps are offering. I would say that it is worth it if you are looking for an all-in-one productivity app, but if you just want to take down a few notes every single day and just write down your tasks and remember what you have to do, there are better options out there. Uh, however, it is still great for bullet journaling, especially if you take a lot of book notes, you take a lot of notes on articles, and just in general take a lot of notes. You can choose to have them in your uh, daily view, you can use the week view if you like a weekly layout, or you can just put them into folders and that's note plan for you. The second app we have here is actually called the bullet journal app uh, and the bullet journal app is based on the bullet journal method so if you if you are familiar with the bullet journal method this app will be uh, 
will be quite easy to learn. They have a free plan, which gives you uh, a lot of functionality. You have uh, almost everything is unlimited on the free plan. So you can have tasks, you can have notes, but to get subtasks, repeating tasks, tags, images, and search, you have to pay $3 each month if billed yearly or $4 each month if billed monthly. So if we jump into the app, you can see that it is uh, quite a basic application, which might be good for a lot of people because basic doesn't necessarily mean bad. A lot of us need a basic application, but there are multiple ways of actually storing things. You can have things in YouTube in uh, lists like my YouTube test list right here. So you can have different lists, you can add tags and you can archive things. You have the prompts, which is basically making journaling prompts for yourself. So if I plus, press the plus here, I can make myself a new prompt. For example, what are you grateful for? If I wanted to do a gratitude journal, you have an inbox to put things into before you move them somewhere else. And you have the timeline, which is basically your daily log, your weekly log your monthly log and even a yearly log. So every single month uh, you get this uh, right here. So if you had something to do in December or November, you could just put it into what's called yearly uh, year or the yearly log. Uh, you have the monthly log here and I do love the interface of this. Uh, you can uh, create an account and uh, actually sync between devices if you wanted to. You have the weekly here. I am uh, personally not a big fan of the weekly view. I just don't like how it looks, but we can add things into here. Uh, and as you can see, you have a couple of entry types. So we have a task, uh, which is this right here. You have a note and you have an event quite similar to the bullet journal method that you would do with a pen and paper. You can choose the importance of this by having low, medium, high, or none. Uh, you could choose to uh, put it into a list or you could give it a tag. You can also add images, but as I said, that is in the pro plan. So you could do rapid logging inside of here, or you could actually choose to have it in different lists. And the inbox is quite good as well. Uh, because we do not have to decide where something goes, which makes it a lot easier to capture things on the go. Uh, and this is probably the app that looks the most familiar for bullet journal users, but it is also the most basic app, but the pricing on it is quite cheap uh, compared to a lot of the other apps. The next app we are going to take a look at is Twos and Twos offer these daily pages right here. Uh, I have written a lot today, uh, but it has these daily pages right here where you can do rapid logging. You can change the thing type. So everything you write inside of Twos is called a thing. Uh, you can have the dash, you can have the to do, number, note. This is for longer writing, bullet, sublist, and divider. We will get back to sublists later. Um, this also works quite similarly to a bullet journal uh, that you can just add things in your daily pages or you could actually place them in lists like uh, the bullet journal app and you can create yourself different lists for different aspects of your life. If we take a look at my social media list, which is basically every social media idea I do have, I can place them all. In under the social media list and this is a sub list so YouTube ideas is a sub list you have a dedicated to do uh, and you can choose to not show any of these in your to do so this is much more customizable than the bullet uh, journal app but it offers a lot of the same functionality you have twos world where people publish their notes and you can actually learn a lot from using this uh, and people sharing their notes. I have seen a lot of cool stuff on there that I've added onto my own notes. You have a review feature which allows you to review all of 
uh, your lists, you have reminders, which in bullet journal terms would be an event. You have tags for organizing. Uh, you have memories, which shows you your memories. You have the week view, which is quite similar to a weekly view inside of the bullet journal method. Uh, so you can drag things in the weekly view. So I could place this here. Uh, and I could do the same for this one as well. So you have these uh, things you can drag. So it works quite similarly to a uh, to, uh, Kanban board. You can choose to have this vertically as well if that's what you would prefer. So there is a lot of customization to this. Uh, and it is just overall an amazing application. They keep updating it, it keeps getting better, and they are uh, quite active in the Discord community as well. I have had some minor problems from time to time uh, in uh, when using this uh, app, a couple of small bugs, but I haven't experienced any of them uh, recently. Uh, and the last thing I wanted to say about Toos is that the app is actually completely free. You can uh, purchase some add-ons uh, like the customized home in the uh, mobile app, but you can choose to purchase them with these, uh, I, I was going to call it in-game coins, but uh, these coins inside of Toos, I've played too much video games lately, but uh, you can choose to purchase them using these coins, which you get either from inviting or referring someone, or you have a lot of things you can do here uh, in order to get coins and you have these daily clues which are new every single day and you can do them every single day to gain 20 coins but you could also purchase them for i think it's 12 dollars um i think it's 12 dollars if i am not wrong something like that or you could purchase individual ones for two dollars but the app is basically free since you can use uh the uh, coins from inside of the app and you have a leaderboard here as well uh which shows who has the most coins every uh, who has the most most coins uh and if you have any questions feel free to leave them down below and i will try to get to them as soon as i can thank you so so much for watching today's video